Hey everybody, I'm Amanda Rueda. I am the product manager with product planning here at GitLab. And I wanna show you how I use Epic boards um, when I'm doing longer term planning. So in a prior video, I showed you how I use issue boards um, to track my milestones and, or to plan for my milestones. When I'm thinking about, um, when I'm thinking about a little bit longer term, I use an Epic board which um, is configured by labels that I've created and I apply to my epics now, next, or future. And basically what we're looking at is now are the things that I'm hoping to accomplish or burn down in the current mile, in the current quarter. Next is the next quarter and then future is um, after that. It could be the subsequent quarter or longer time frame. It will be the kind of content that I'll pick from as I break out the subsequent, subsequent quarters. Um, what I like about this view, first of all, when I am planning for the next milestone, I might pop in here and look at the now list because I, I might look at, okay, well, what are we almost done with? This one's at 90%, for example. Let's just pour some um, concentrated effort into this one so we can close it out. What are we re really lagging behind on that sort of thing? So I really like this view to see at the, feature level or the larger project level to see kind of how we're doing. Um, but then when I'm thinking about the um, the high level goals that I wanna accomplish this year, I'm grouping these kind of themes um, in these kind of chunks of time. It's not a committed like delivery plan that you would use the actual roadmap for with start and end dates. It's more of kind of developing that product roadmap um, according to some sort of loose time frames, um, and it allows me to see, okay, how realistic am I with these plans? So, for example, the next up, um, I have 48 epics with over 205 weight, which um, not all of this is weighed. So, because we haven't even gotten to planning breakdown yet, so I already know this is really. Um, bloated, right? So my next up, I'm going to have to really trim down. And um, what I like about using this is I can start to think about as I'm thinking about each of these things, I can drag and drop and I could say, okay, well, relationships is the number one priority for me, but this, um, this new filtering by option due date is also high. And then if I'm doing this exercise of kind of stack breaking each thing against itself, I end up with a bottom, right? So at some point I'm going to have the last 48, you know, the 48 epic um, or, you know, the bottom 20 epics. And that can really force me to make a decision about what is the most important in terms of relative priority. So I can do things like um, to use the race framework to determine what the best value is. Um, or for example, these first two are um, part of a larger initiative that we're trying to close out this year. So I know without a doubt, those are the first priorities. Um, and so that's how I'm going about um, like identifying what should be in this view and what shouldn't. So I can add as many um, lists as I'd like. So if you don't want to do it by quarters, you can always um, add more lists and, you know, whatever you might be searching by, maybe you want to do it by month or you want to do it by some theme. Um, that's also pretty um, handy. So I'll show you one other. So this is my now next future board, which is what I typically use, but I also have the, um, the maturity board. So when I'm thinking about the features that we support, um, I have our work, um, labeled for maturity as well. So the work in this list will allow us to achieve the viable rating, the complete rating and the lovable rating. These are all ratings within GitLab. Um, so this is another way that I can take a look at my work to say, okay, well, we really need to close this one out because this gets us a little bit closer to viable. So Epic, um, Epic boards are really handy when we're thinking about high level planning without like definitive timelines and we want to create this kind of longer term product roadmap for ourselves. Um, so hopefully that's helpful for you. Have a great rest of your day and see you in the next video.